back to a relative state of normalcy. Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, Sub-Saharan Africa's fourth busiest airport, opened to all international flights on Friday for the first time since Wednesday's blaze amid chaos at a makeshift terminal. The fire destroyed the arrivals hall and damaged some of the departures area, forcing the airport authorities to handle overseas passengers through a tiny domestic terminal while domestic flights flew out of the cargo terminal. The airport resumed operations to all traffic at midnight of last night. Passengers are coming in and going out as it ought to be. They are definitely not as comfortable as we would like them to be, but we are continuing to work on that. Airport capacity is up to about 70 percent. Officials say it is too early to say if arson or an accident was to blame. The Kenyan media has criticized the authorities for being too slow to respond to the fire. At this stage, all I can say is that investigations are ongoing. Our own security services and agents from other friendly nations are involved in the investigations. But we can now at least adequately confirm that there was no element of a terror incident in this fire. Analysts say whether the fire deals a crushing blow to Kenya's reputation as a regional gateway depends on how quickly the airport can return to handling more than 16,000 passengers a day. President Kenyatta said a temporary terminal with a capacity of 2.5 million or nearly 7,000 people per day would be constructed within weeks, while the authorities would try to fast-track the construction of a new terminal due to open in March 2014. Maria Galang, CCTV.